Hey guys, um, I have a clutch to show off here that hatched out. Okay, so the pairing on this clutch was an Enchi uh, DG Hypo bred to a uh, to a mahogany girl. So it's just going to be double hat. Uh, Desert Ghost Hypo stuff here. Uh, but this is an Enchi Double Hat DG Hypo. And this is also an Enchi Double Hat DG Hypo. Which I thought this could be potentially mahogany, but I'm leaning towards maybe not. Um, but obviously this one is much brighter. Uh, one is a male and one is a female, I believe, on these. Okay. And then... This one is... An Enchi Mahogany double head. And then this is also an Enchi Mahogany double head. So a little bit of difference in these two as well. This one, you really get the nice. Uh, rich mahogany uh, color and pattern in there. This one you can tell is mahogany, um, but not quite as nice as this other one. I got snakes are trying to take off of me everywhere. And then we have this normal. Pretty nice looking normal. Uh, very minimal alien eyes. So, almost seems like it's trying to be something, but not much that it could be. Uh, these guys just want to go. So, there it is. That's a normal. Two inchy mahoganies. And two inchies. One super bright, the other one. Not as bright, but pretty sure that that one does not have mahogany in it. All right, and then I have another clutch to show off. This one's also going to be uh, this one's also going to be DG Hypo stuff, but this one's a little this one's a little more fun. So, where do I start on this one? Let's see. I want to show off this animal first. So, the pairing on this one was the Enchi DG Hypo to a Mystic Het Desert Ghost. Now look at this animal. This is not Enchi. This is not Mystic. And this is not a normal. It's also not a visual desert ghost. Even though the head is kind of nice and blushed, that's this is not Desert Ghost. That's going to be head influence maybe or something. But this is definitely a Dinker gene right here. Um, so I'm not sure if this is coming in from the Enchi DG Hypo or if it's coming in from the Mystic. I'm leaning towards the Mystic um, because she's a really, really nice looking Mystic. Um, and then I have another, I have a Mystic Het, uh, clown female that looks just as nice as her. Um, both of their grandmother, uh, was a Mystic female. Uh, I bought her as a breeder and they're both super nice compared to her. I just, uh, chopped that up to the Het influence. One is Het DG, one is Het clown. Um, but... 
they both have in common the mother, uh, which was a, a, a spider mystic female, which was the daughter of that original mystic breeder female that I bought. So, um, what this is going to be, this animal is going to be the daughter of the daughter of the daughter of my original breeder. So, a few generations down, right? And this is clearly not mystic. So, I think, um, what I'm thinking honestly is happening is the male that was bred to that original female may have been carrying this gene. Uh, and that was a mystic spider. <clears throat> so, I don't know. I'm going to have to, I'm going to keep this girl and breed her. She's obviously some type of granite gene. She's dark. She's got real nice granity look to her. So I'm going to breed her out. Um, I'm going to work with it and I'm going to figure it out. I will end up eventually uh, putting it back together and trying to make a super and do all the, uh, you know, the work that you would have to do to prove the gene out. So I'm willing to bet that there will be a super. Um, it'll more than likely be close to something like Grim or Nanny or, you know, one of those other granite type genes, but um, pretty interesting. I like the way she looks, and it should be pretty interesting and pretty fun to uh, prove that out. Okay, so next, uh, while we're on that, let me show you this animal. This is Mystic. Okay, this is Mystic, and I do believe it has that gene as well. Now this one, I wasn't sure. Uh, the blushing is more pronounced on her, but she also is Mystic. So, I don't, oops, messing up the camera here. I don't think that this is Desert Ghost. In fact, looking at it in the camera, I'm pretty sure this is not Desert Ghost. So I think this is a mystic, that granite gene, double het, desert ghost, hypo. And this is a male, so I'm not sure quite what to do with him. I may keep him, I may let him go. So I might have to actually just keep him because... I do want to work this gene out and figure it out. Alright, next. This one is another, I'm not quite sure, it's not Desert Ghost. Yeah, it looks like it could have that gene again too. It's a little cleaner and brighter than the first one. <clears throat> it does not quite look as nice as the Mystic, although I do think that there's a possibility that this could be Mystic. It has these gray tones, like in here. So, I, I do think that there's a chance that this probably is Mystic, just maybe not quite as nice as that last one. Okay. So, <clears throat> other than the fact that this that other gene is in here, um, this is another kind of underwhelming clutch. This one is going to be Mystic Enchi, double het. Now this one is a really nice looking animal. Look at the blushing up the side there. It's a really nice looking animal. Uh, this one's also a male. I'll be letting go of this animal here. Really beautiful animal. So if you're looking to get into Desert Ghost hypo stuff, this would be a nice way to start. Could that other gene be in here? I'm not sure. Potentially. And then...
here is another Mystic Enchi. This one's a little darker than that last one. So, if anything, this could potentially have that other gene. I'm not sure. But another one, not Desert Ghost. <clears throat> so this started out as a 7-egg clutch. Um, one of the eggs uh, died uh, not too long before they were hatching. So that's the difference there between the two Enchi uh, Mystics. This one has a really nice blushing up the side. This one's quite a bit darker and more gray. So, I don't know. I don't know what's going on there. Except for, the only thing I can say is maybe this has the, the other gene in it, and that's why it's darkening it up more. Um, but, nonetheless, no Desert Ghost. So, is it a Desert Ghost clutch? Why, yes, yes it is. I hit one desert ghost in this clutch. Uh, and it looks to be a normal desert ghost. That is not Enchi. That is not Mystic. This is going to be just a normal desert ghost. And I'm pretty sure this does not have that other gene in it either. Uh, it should be a little more granity looking. It should be darker. I thought maybe it could because of the small alien eyes. The tiny little eyes there but I am leaning towards no I'm pretty sure this is just going to be a normal desert ghost hat hypo so nonetheless it's still a nice looking animal this is a male and he also will be available so I and it, it's it's kind of like a underwhelming clutch because you know I would have liked more desert ghost but at the same time, it's kind of exciting because look at that. That's pretty cool. Um, definitely looking forward to growing this girl up and seeing what I can make with her. The tough part is the fact that she is double het desert ghost hypo. Obviously, I, I want to breed for that, you know, but at the same time, I want to prove it out. Um, so, it could take some time to really figure this thing out. Um, I do not really want to do double head to double head, but I could potentially take that mystic uh, male and put it back to her and see if I can hit the super form, but then it's going to end up with mystic in it, and then obviously now I'm double head to double head on the desert ghost and the hypo. So, I don't know. We'll see what I decide to do. But, nonetheless, um, pretty cool clutch. So, yeah. So, lots of Desert Ghost Hypo stuff over here. I have uh, one more clutch to hatch with uh, the Desert Ghost Hypo stuff. They had all just had their first sheds. So, I have one more clutch to hatch with the Desert Ghost Hypo stuff. Um, and that's going to be the Enchi Desert Ghost Hypo to a Cinnamon Enchi, or I'm sorry, a Cinnamon Hypo. So that should be a really cool clutch. Everything's going to be Hypo, um, could hit, you know, Cinnamon Enchies, um, and then I don't think that extra gene is in that male because I hatched a couple of other clutches. I don't know, I'll have to look back at the clutches that I did hatch. Um, as you can see from the, the last clutch that I just showed um, with uh, the mahogany and Enchi, it didn't quite look like anything uh, was in there looking the same. But, you know, we'll see. I'll just have to uh, check back over everything uh, and take a look. But um, I also do have a clutch coming uh, actually she just laid today the mystic het clown uh, they're both from different years of breeding uh, but they both have the same mom and they both look very similar as that they just are really really nice looking uh, 
Mystics. So this is the Mystic Het Desert Ghost Mom of this last clutch. It's a really nice looking Mystic. So her mom looked nowhere near this nice, right? Look how blushed out that head is. Um, just, just, just in general, the blushings, the pattern. Mom almost, you could have looked at mom and thought that maybe that's just a really nice looking normal. You know what I'm saying? So, um, it really took breeding her uh, to make some stuff. And I did make a bell clutch with her, you know, just to prove that, hey, she actually is mystic. She's not a normal, right? But look at this. This is without a doubt. You can't look at this and say that's a normal. That's, you know. And it's the same thing for the uh, mystic uh, het clown female. Like I said, this girl, this girl just, just laid her clutch today. But this girl, this girl especially, see the, uh, so I think there's a really good chance that that gene could be floating around in these girls. So there's a good chance that maybe I will see it in this girl's clown clutch. And that one's going to be GHI Clown was bred to her four times. And then the last pairing was a uh, Mahogany Batman to her. Um, because he wanted nothing to do with breeding her for a while. Uh, and then finally did it right before she was ready to ovulate. So that is going to be a tough clutch to tell anything in either. If the Mahogany Batman gets her especially, it's going to be real hard to try to, you know, that you got Leopard, Spot Nose, Mahogany, and Mystic all in the clutch. Half of them are going to be clowns. That's going to be really hard to say that, that, that you know, to pick that gene out of that uh, those combos. So if the GHI gets her, you know, same thing. It still could be hard to pick out that... Uh, combination so I guess we'll see what happens but hopefully you guys are having a good season and I will catch you in the next video peace